Alrighty guys, I am back and I was thinking we had like four more pockets to make, but I had forgotten that um, early last week I shot a couple of videos and I got those done. So we're ahead of the game. So we really only have one more pocket and then we'll start um, mounting our ephemera um, onto, uh, I'll show you how sometimes I like to do the ephemera because um, I my printer does not like cardstock at all so i have to print it all like on paper and then then we have um uh, uh bu -bu -bu -bu. then i have to mount them sorry i got a little distracted on um so these are really kind of the leftover pieces from um this set here so I kind of have an idea of where we're going, but it's going to take a little bit to kind of get it set. So, um, or not a little bit, but I don't know that I've ever made one quite like this. Um, so we're going to play a little bit um, because this side can be written on and I don't feel like I'm going to mount anything on it as far as, um, I'll just take this little sliver while, while we're here so that when I put it up on the um, scoreboard it's not crazy crazy off and we might end up having to at the very end after we get it all because it's really thick stuff so um, I won't have to mount anything on the back side it can just be written on um, so yeah let, let's see this is um, kind of the off shoot of the last piece of paper and I think it's like, yeah, it's like four and three quarter and it's four inches high. So that, that should give us plenty. So what I'm going to do is get my scoreboard out here. Maybe. Yep. Here we go. Here's the scoreboard. Let's see, four and three quarters. So I really could do, why does that seem so off? I'll probably have to recut some of that down a little bit um four and three quarters so if we did like four and a half let's just see what that oh no oh in for a penny in for a pound because i was going to do a hinge so we can do So we might, let's just do some fancy footwork here. It might be a little bit short. We might have to take a little, I, I forget sometimes that our base piece doesn't necessarily have to be right what we're, what we're doing, right? We can absolutely make our pieces just a tiny bit shorter. Now, take this. Yeah, see how it's kind of crooked still? Um, but I'll just take it off of both ends. I'll just get now. Can I tell where that little divot was? Yep. So I would say, don't follow me for more good recipes. <laughs> um, because you will probably be sorely disappointed. Probably all confused, huh? They're like, oh, she's got something going on in that brain of hers. So, anywho. Okay. So, yeah, but it looks a little bodgy at the moment. And you would not be, not be wrong on that. Um, but I think there's a good rhyme and reason that we're going to work towards here. I'm going to go in and I'm going to take that off. And I think I might have to clean that up a little bit. I don't think I cut very straight. I should just have my cutter on the ready, right? There we go. It's at least better. Okay, so 
I'm going to make accordion style. Just fold it up. And score it down. And then, since I'm off a little bit on both sides, not so much the top, so we'll use that as the even part and just cut some of that off. I'm not sure if my little guy will do it or not. It did it. Wow. Okay. There we go. All right. So then we're going to take this, and I guess we could just mount it in the middle. Maybe that's what we'll do. Kind of defeats the purpose of what I was doing, though. Because it was going to be kind of confusing. Let me see how much I'd end up cutting off. Probably about a half an inch, I would guess. Let's just cut a quarter inch at a time. How about that? See how much closer we're getting. You'll, you'll see the rhyme and reason here in just a minute. Okay, so that's much better. Much better. But it's that direction, okay? Okay, so then we'll want four inch sections of these. Just kind of making sure. I think that this little guy is too short. So I'm gonna have to use him somewhere else. Yep. Half an inch too short. That's okay. We got four. Alright, so then then it becomes Trying to get these like right. Actually, I think I'm going to go about this just a tiny bit different, guys. I know it's going to look really funny for a minute, but assembly wise, um, and actually, let's ink it before we before we start. Looks like I got a little aggressive on that one. It cracked a little bit, but I think we'll be all right because what we're doing. got really quiet. I was thinking through a couple of the other little processes here. Okay. Shall I leave that open? Because we're going to go. And yep, I know the writing's upside down, but sometimes all in the name of scraps, right? bit smaller. So I'm only going to go about there with my glue. So oops. Like that. Just a tiny bit from the top. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna have them going right, right up to that crease line, okay? I know, it looks a little weird, right? It's okay. I promise it'll all be okay. This one. I don't know. Can you guys hear the the wind whipping in the back? In the background. Now, I'll go all around all four edges of this one. I mean, not on glue, but just to get this like glued in. Did it right we should it should pretty I'll just cut off this um, and I think I'll get my little cutter out to make it just a little bit more straighter here and then I'll just re-ink those it up there at the top and throw some ink around it. I can actually probably just do that at the very end. what's going to have to happen is now that I have these, um, I have to kind of just do a little lines down through here to kind of glue the, oh, no, 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 that's not what I want. That's not what we want because that would defeat the purpose here. No. You know what? Maybe we're not going to glue that. I think, I think, you know what? I think not. Let's just glue these pieces together. Let's see how best to go about doing that. Because then we can treat it kind of like a Tim Holtz pocket, right? I don't know if you guys have seen those. But yeah, that'll allow us to treat it very similar to a Tim Holtz pocket. And then it won't matter how tall our stuff is, per se, in there. Okay, so I'm going to fold it all up, and I'm going to hit, nope. I'm going to hit all of this, and then I'm going to hit the bottom here and the side up here. Hopefully. Just focus on this for a minute. We will be able to have those other pieces hold. And if not, we'll just, we'll just re-glue, right? We'll just readdress and figure out what we need to do. OK, 
Okay, now, just open it up so I, if I have any excess glue anywhere, we don't spill out anywhere. We're not holding anything up. Okay, all right. Well, that's drying pretty well. I'll cap that off and we'll ink around the edges and then I'll show you um, kind of the concept. And the ink doesn't really show, show up on this green, but what it does do is just take out those white edges. Okay, so in theory, right, we fold out, we have that cool places to journal here, and then we have taller pockets, if you will, right in here, right? And as we get taller, we have more pocket area, right? So, voila, that is my pocket idea of the week. Okay, then, um, I don't know exactly what we're gonna do to close it. I might mount it to the side of the page a little bit and then just put one of these little guys in there. That's probably how I'll keep it closed on the pocket. And actually, let's see, I kinda like this one. So we'll just put that like close to the edge of the page and then we'll just slide it, slide it across and it'll keep it closed. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will just see you in the next one. Bye, guys.